Hello and welcome to all of you in this lecture. So today we are going to cover a few basics of fuzzy logic. Okay. So if I ask you a simple question to find out the set of chair in this room, then what would be your answer? In that case, you need to point out every object and ask the same question whether it is chair or not. However, if I ask you the same question but in a different way, like which objects in this room may function as a chair, then you will consider this one is also could be used as a chair and this one is could also use as a chair. So loosely you could say the set of objects that may function as a chair is a fuzzy set. So when you deal with fuzzy set then you need to remember a few terminology. One is called the universe of discourse which is similar to the universal set. Okay. Another one is the membership function which helps you to find out the characteristics of each of the elements in a set. And membership function we define by mu a and this could be formally written here. In this case each of the element in this set should contain a value between 0 to 1 and x is the universal discourse. If we just confuse to c 2x over here so I can replace x by u which is the universal set. So typically fuzzy sets in a fuzzy sets uh, each of the element can be write by this way it's a kind of element and membership function value okay so in this case you can see over here eight elements are there and each of the element comes with a membership function value so for discrete number this is the writing format and instead of using comma you could use this separator okay so this is not the division part this is just separate the membership function value to the element okay so you could write this way also or you could also apply comma as well and for continuous number we use the integral sign So few basic terms that we typically use in fuzzy one is called the mean and there is called the max. So mean operator gives you the minimum value between these two elements. For example, if I have two and three and I apply mean operator then it will return two and if I apply max operator then it will it will return three. Okay. So mean operator this operator can also be applied into a sequence of in a list of sequence okay and these are the similar thing but in a different form of writing few more terms one is called the empty fuzzy sets when the each of the element in a fuzzy set contains the value zero and when you call normal fuzzy sets when at least one element contains the value equal exactly one in that case this portion touch the one bar okay and we could also apply some algebraic product in any kind of fuzzy sets for example over here you can see you can call this one as the universe of discourse of two fuzzy sets a and b and this is the membership function of b and this one is the membership function of a and if i apply union operator over here that means it only considers the maximum of the grades of the membership function and if I apply intersection operator over here then it will consider only the minimum of the grades of the membership function which means this portion only so one of the important principle of fuzzy sets is called alpha cuts and for example A is a fuzzy set and we need to find out what would be the value when the alpha card is 0.5 which means consider only those elements that membership function value is equal or greater than 0.5 so that's why we only consider this part okay so this is the formal version of alpha card here is another example of alpha cards here if i say alpha card is 0.7 then you will consider 2 3 and 4 and if i ask you say for example alpha card is 0.4 then what would be the value over here then 1 to 5 
okay because this portion is only considered uh, within the alpha cut so you can uh, apply alpha cut multiple times here you can see for example if I alpha cut point 0.2 here then we consider only this portion we just ignore the rest of the part so another important principle is the extension principle we use this principle to uh, find out the uh, when you add two fuzzy numbers called 3 and 4 if I need to add these two then we will use this extension principle okay so formally the extension principle can be right in this format here you can see instead of using one universe of discourse we use multiple universe of discourse and for single variable function we use the multiple variable function as we have multiple universe of discourse for example here here we have a fuzzy set a1 to figure out the membership function value we use the u and this way we could apply different variable to find out the membership function value of different fuzzy sets okay and in this figure you can see here the relation between x and y and y and z but if I ask you to find out relation between x and z then how we could do this thing so we will see how to solve this uh, composition in our next tutorial okay thank you